So this is the MacBook Pro. Doing a, just a quick uh, video to accompany my review so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see here the uh, keyboard that ha we have with this machine. Now one of the things I really like about this is the fact that it's backlit. If I cover up the side in order to cover the light, you can see that all the keys light up here. Which is really nice for when I'm in you know, a low light situation, I can actually see the keys. And of course, you, you know, you put the light back on it, which we'll do here, and they turn off. So it's, it's light responsive, which is quite nice. It's got the multi-touch trackpad on it. Actually, you get, to, uh, you get used to it. I, I used to think that I would want to use a mouse fairly often with it, but I don't. Uh, the screen is a 15-inch. It's got 1440 by 900 resolution. It's actually a really good image on this screen. Um, and it's got a much larger resolution than actually my prior laptop did. And I uh, can't really complain. They really fit a lot onto a 15-inch screen. The 17 inch is of course a larger screen by 2 inches, but in reality I don't see why anybody would need to go to the 17 inch screen unless you're doing, you know, hardcore video editing or something like that. If we go over to the side, you can see some of the ports that we have. Now up here is a DDI, then we've got the networking Ethernet port, we've got a couple of Firewire ports here, and we've got the USB. Now when I did the, the, on the text part of this review, I said that I didn't really like the placement of this USB. Now if I come back out a little bit, you can see it's right basically in the middle of the machine on the right. And the problem is, is if you plug a USB mouse into this, it sticks out coming out of this port, coming out of, you know, maybe an inch and a half, two inches, about out to, out to here. But the thing is, those of us who are right-handed are going to be sitting here like this, using the USB mouse, so it just sticks out and I th think it's in the way. Actually, I think it would be a little better to put the port back here in the back. I can see right here, but with the design that they have, why they can't, because the way that the uh, hinge works for the screen, but the back would actually be quite nice. Over here on the left side of the machine, you can see that we have where the power goes in. Right now the machine's running on battery another USB port, and then a couple of audio jacks. Um, this is the express card slot. This placement of the USB port is completely fine because, I mean, unless you're left-handed, the thing is, even for a left-handed person, it's further up the unit, so you can always use the, uh, the uh, USB mouse and you have a little bit more room to do it. So it's just the placement of the one on the other side that I find to be a little bit wonky. Uh, otherwise, it's a you know, very well-designed laptop. Uh, you had this little button here in order to open it up. You got the traditional Apple logo uh, on the back. There's really nothing. So it's a very slick uh, design unit. And uh, that is basically a, just a quick little video to accompany my MacBook Pro 15-inch.